Okay, let's talk about even another image sensor technology. Um, Prophecy is, is a company that has developed a really unique image sensor called an event-based vision sensor. Um, and it's really unique because our world does not actually operate in 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second with a, a scanning raster. It, it doesn't do that. Um, our eyes, our visual system perceives things much more uh, detailed with a lot better temporal resolution. And so these image sensors are quite unique in that they don't, they're not fixed to a certain um, frame rate, for example. So, and there's some benefits to that. So the Prophecy image sensor has a lot of really unique characteristics. The first is that it can run at an equivalency of 10,000 frames per second, because this image sensor, like I said, is not locked to like 30 or 60 frames. It outputs data only when there's an event or a change in the scene. So the essence of the scene is captured. Only the changes are captured. This can lead to much less bandwidth coming out of the sensor, because if you have the camera pointed at a static scene, why output any data? You know, why, why, why waste battery life doing that if the scene hasn't changed? So this sensor actually does that. Um, it also can work in extreme lighting conditions. This sensor can be programmed to work at, you know, 120 dB of dynamic range, a huge amount of HDR dynamic range. And finally, it works at really, really low power. So it's a quite unique technology. We're working with Prophecy to bring this technology to smartphones. And so I'd like to play a video for you from Luca, who is their CEO. Uh, the video is in French, but it has subtitles, so please take a look. L'œil sert pour comprendre l'environnement et pour réagir, prendre des décisions en fonction des changements qu'il y a dans cet environnement. Parce que cela permet à, à l'homme ou aux organismes biologiques de réagir euh, vite par rapport à ces changements et se protéger éventuellement à des risques. L'acquisition se fait à travers hein, la lumière. Donc la lumière, c'est des photons qui réfléchissent sur des objets et les photons sont capturés par hein, la rétine. Dans la rétine, en fait, il y a des systèmes de photorécepteurs bâtonnés et des cônes qui vont absorber les photons de la lumière et ils vont accueillir cette information de manière asynchrone, c'est-à-dire au fur et à mesure que le, la lumière arrive sur la rétine, les photons sont ensuite transformés en signaux électrochimiques et transmis par les nerfs optiques au cortex, qui est une partie du cerveau qui traite ces signaux électriques. Une technologie de vision classique, comme celle qui est en train de nous filmer, génère une vidéo par séquence d'images à des points fixes. La technologie prophétie, inspirée du fonctionnement de la rétine biologique, euh, n'a plus cette euh, notion d'acquisition image par image. Nous avons en fait des pixels qui fonctionnent comme les photorécepteurs de la rétine, donc qui sont indépendants et asynchrones, et donc on a des pixels qui vont réagir en ce moment s'il y a des changements dans la scène. Donc ce que l'on est en train d'observer dans l'écran, euh, c'est des petits points qui correspondent aux événements, donc aux variations de contraste, qui correspondent typiquement à un changement, à une dynamique, donc mes mains, euh, mais les mouvements de ma tête, mes lèvres, mes bras, etc., qui sont récupérés. Toute la partie statique, donc le plafond et les sols, par exemple, ne sont pas à chaque fois récupérés. Donc quand je ne bouge plus, il n'y a plus d'informations, donc euh, il n'y a plus de données. Really interesting and unique technology. Um, and it works a lot like the human eye, which I think uh, Luca mentioned here. But you might ask yourself, why? What's, what's the purpose of this? Why would this be important for a mobile application? So let me show you. You see here that we're using an RGB camera, a standard camera on the left, to capture someone playing tennis. And on the right, is the image that comes out of the Prophecy event-based vision sensor. And so, like I said, the one on the left, the RGB camera, operates at a fixed frame rate, 30 or 60 frames per second. The Prophecy image sensor operates 10, 100 times faster than that. So the Prophecy image sensor can actually output only pixels that change, and they can output them really, really quickly. So as far as when the person swings the racket, it's sampling 10,000 times more data than the RGB sensor is. So the, the movement, the, fine, the, the, the really tiny movements are, are captured so much better. And again, why is this important for smartphones? 
the reason why this is important is because if you take an action sports shot and you use a standard image sensor that's locked to a certain frame rate, you get an image like that, where the, uh, the actual uh, static image has motion blur. So the one on the left where the racket is in motion, it's completely blurred. And there's no easy way to get around that unless you up the frame rate, but then that lowers your light and it you know, becomes a real problem. But if you can intelligently combine the data from the RGB sensor with the event-based sensor from Prophecy, fuse those together, what we can do is we can apply that, that tons of motion data from the Prophecy sensor to the RGB side and then get rid of the motion. So this will get rid of all of the motion blur in, in your shots. And so the good news is that we're working really closely with Prophecy to bring this motion reduction technology for static images into smartphones. So you'll see this really soon. Really cool technology. 